Every time Lily Luft steps on the mat wearing the Tiger Hawk, she's living out a dream. Uh, it's definitely a dream that I'm living out, but I don't know if it was the dream for me. This dream that she's made a reality was not always her own. Before Lily ever stepped on the mat, it was her older brother, Logan, who had wrestling aspirations. Logan started wrestling at a really young age, and he uh, kind of took us along with it. He was so dedicated to the sport that we were all in. Oh, this picture of us. Well, my mom actually just saw a post from seven or eight years ago of his SMART goals and the goals that he set out for himself. And on that poster was, I'm going to be a four-time state champion. I'm going to go to the University of Iowa to wrestle, and I'm going to become an Olympic athlete. Oh, look at that. That's when they're in high school. That was our school. Logan never got the chance to live out those goals. The summer before his freshman year, he was critically injured in an ATV accident. As he was about to be taken off of life support, his family had one last chance to say goodbye to Logan. We all took turns getting to lay next to him and, and just cuddle with him and spend our last time with him that day. And um, I think the one thing that we agreed leaving the hospital that day was that we were all going to work at living our life the way Logan would. This is the one I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Everything he did was bigger than life. And so we wanted to make sure that we continued on doing that. And boy, no one has done that better mm -hmm. than Lily. Lily, who had never seriously wrestled in her whole life, found a purpose in the sport that her brother had loved so dearly. She struggled with Logan's death really, really bad. And she just, she was lost. Wrestling was a natural fit for her because it was something he loved. After I started my freshman year, it was like I had a sense of purpose and I was doing it for something that was so much greater than myself. It was her way of just connecting with him mm -hmm. um, on the mat. Her so. first varsity match, she got a pin. And she came running up into the stands after her pin. And the cheerleaders give them a safety pin for every pin that they make. And she handed it to me and she goes, I want you to have this because he never was able to get his first pin, so this one's for him. Lily Luft got to live out many of Logan's dreams in her own high school career. She won three state titles for Charles City. She was one of the first recruits for Iowa's inaugural women's wrestling team. Every step she takes on this mat, still with Logan in the back of her mind. I definitely wouldn't be in this sport without him because um, I think he opened so many doors for me through this sport and I think that that's something that I have to be forever grateful for. Each day that I get to step on the mat, um, you know, it's a new opportunity and, um, you know, he never let opportunities um, go to waste and, you know, that's something that also pushes me. We talk about him all the time, you know, I'm, uh, just how much he would enjoy just watching her wrestle, yeah. you know, yeah. being a part of it, um, you know, Borlas uh, being her biggest cheerleader, you know. Yeah. I wish he was here to see what you've accomplished because nobody would have appreciated it more than him. As Lily Luft approaches the national tournament this weekend, those goals that started with Logan and were adopted by his little sister, those have evolved into a new set of dreams and goals fully her own. Somewhere along the way, she found herself and what were Logan's goals became her goals. And now it's not even as much talked about, you know, I have to do this because it was something that he was gonna do. This is what I wanna do and mm -hmm. what I'm gonna accomplish and what my future is gonna look like. She started because of him, but now it's all about her. Yeah.